Use code DREEPIES now through May 31st to receive 20% off your order in the Grungy Games merch store, and that includes the new line of Detroit DREEPIES merch. Hey, what's up YouTube? Grungy Games here, and welcome to week one of the Pokemon Poketuber Draft League. I'm a chairman of this league, and I don't even know the name. Alright, so basically we're going to be going against Mage Glide today. Um, I'll get into that in a second. We're going to talk about my draft real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, darn it. Okay, good, good. Okay, good, good, good. Make sure everything's on the right monitors. So I'm going to go over my draft real quick. So the draft went really well. I We did it uh, two weeks ago last week. And I was gone, so I had to get some... I had to get this... Get home so I could record this. But this is the day that me and both Glide could get ready to do our match. So I'm going to talk about my draft real quick, and then we'll go over the Pokemon that I'm bringing today, and we'll talk about his team too real quick. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and list off what I got. So for my Mega, I got Mega Charizard Y. Um, I just thought it'd be nice to have that Sun. I, it's not a full Sun team, but it, I have Pokemon that benefit from the Sun. For Tier 1, I picked up Dragapult because I felt like it was so fast, and it could especially... I'm not good with competitive Pokemon, by the way. I just thought what I got what I thought was good. Dragapult's really fast. Um, Ghosted or Nelson gave me a great set for him. He was helping me out a little bit. Um, tier 2, we picked up Toxitex. I thought that'd be a nice water type that could take hits. Uh, it's also got Regenerator this this week. And, um, um, oh, that almost hit me in the face. Um, but it's got Regenerator, so we'll be able to heal a lot of health. And it's also got the Black Sludge, so that Pokemon will just constantly be getting HP back. Uh, for Tier 3, we picked up Clefki for Prankster. That's the only reason I picked up Clefki. It does have play rough this week and i probably will keep play rough uh it's just it's it's a strong pokemon for that reason because of prankster um tier four we picked up venusaur not mega venusaur just regular venusaur and i just thought that i need a pokemon that will benefit from the sun and so i picked and i wanted a grass type that i know could take hits and it could give them it could go fast it could hit hard so i've got venusaur tier five we picked up glaceon uh i thought it'd be nice to have some ice tip coverage and i thought last last year in the pdl i did not i only competed in like two weeks um, I sadly had to drop out. Um, so I picked it up last year too, um, just because I thought it'd be nice for coverage. And I like I like Glaceon now. So I picked it up. Thought that was good. Now for my free picks, um, we had a total of 320 points, I believe it was. I should know this. I was a chairman. Yet again, I should be knowing this. Um, and by the way, I'm in the Wulu division. If you missed it out, the PDL links to the channel and the Twitter will be down below. Um, for the free picks, we had 320 points. So I picked up the four Pokemon, Excadrill, Rotom Heat, Glade, and Honchkrow. Mainly for coverage, Excadrill and Rotom Heat I thought would benefit. Glade and Honchkrow were purely for coverage. Um, but yeah, let's talk about his team real quick. So this week we are against the Backstreet Plant Gang, or coached by Mage Glide. Um, he has his team as Megalopony, Aegislash, Rotom Wash, which I was originally going to pick up instead of Toxapeg. Um, Seismito, Delphox, Simisage, Latios, Galarian Weezing, Zoroark, and... Roger Rock. Roger Rock? Reggie Rock. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and look here. And so this is what we have this week. We have Sora the Clef Key with Leftovers, Prankster, Spikes, Thunder Wave, Toxic, and Play Rough. Um, it's got the Careful Nature. We have Spyro. It's supposed to be really play on Spyro the Dragon and also Pyro because Pyromania. He's fire. Um, we have the. They're all level 100, obviously. Um, he's got the Charizard at Y because our we have to Mega first turn. He's got the Drought ability. He's got Flamethrower, Focus Blast, Solar Beam, and Roost. And he's rocking the Timid Nature. Next, we got Big Ronda. Shout out to that 70s show. Um, with the Life Orb. With the ability Chlorophyll. And the hidden powers don't matter to me. The only one that does is uh, you, which that should be Fire. I don't know why that didn't say Fire. Um, with Growth, Sludge, Giga Drain, and Hidden Power Fire, this is going to benefit from the sun so much. Um, and we have Shredder, the Excadrill with the Focus Sash, Mold Breaker, Jolly Nature, Stealth Rock, Rapid Twin, um, Earthquake, and Rock Tomb. Next, we have Ghosted. It's named after Nelson. With the Choice Specs, with the ability Infiltrator, with the moves Fire Blast, Thunder Bolt, Draco Meteor, and Shadow Ball. And next, we got Kotara. Shout out to Avatar. I just watched the first episode, and I'm going to watch more tonight, probably when I edit this. I am so excited to watch more Avatar. It's got the Calm Nature. Um, it's got Regenerator, Black Sludge, Scald Haze, Recover, and Baneful Bunker. Now, what I'm going to go here is I'm going to go to the home, and I'm going to go ahead and find a user, and I will cut back to when we are in the match with Fly. And we're back. Okay, he brought Seismitoad, Lapani, Latios, Delphox, Galarian Weezing, and... Uh, ooh, he's going to send out Galarian Weezing because he thinks I'm going to send out Prankster and Zoroark. So here's what I'm actually going to do. 
because I'm predicting the Glorian Weezing. What'll hit that? Let's see. Let's see, let's see. He doesn't have Levitate, so... I can hit him with an Earthquake. Straight off the bat. That's what we're gonna do. Oh, I did not predict correctly. Um... I go for a, if he goes for a water move. No, yeah, let, let's go into Kotara. I think Kotara is the right move here. Flamethrower, okay, we resist that like a truck. And we gained a lot of that health back. I'm gonna go ahead and set up a Baneful Bunker so if he hits me, uh, he will get poisoned. Just the best strat in my uh, opinion. It could go very wrong. He could switch out here and that's very possible. And I didn't think about that. What, would he, what could he switch out to? Okay, so he did, he did switch. What? What just happened? Um, okay. I don't want to hit him with a Scald. Oh, Scald? Water, um... Okay, it could have Poison Absorb. Or Poison poison Touch or Water Absorb. I don't really want to go into Big Ronda yet. I'm trying to think of the best strategy here. Part of me really wants to go into Dragapult. And just Shadow Ball. That, that's what I want to do. Okay, you're setting up South Rock. I want a Shadow Ball. Because whatever he sends out is going to get hit hard by this. Even if it's Zoroark, that'll do a lot of damage because we're Specs. Alright, Queena. What are you going to do? Let me make sure. Let me see if he sent me a DM. Alright, let's see what he does here. I'm surprised he didn't bring the Rotom Wash. That's what, that's what I was expecting. Okay, Galarian Weezing. Shadow Ball. Bang! That's the big damage I was hoping for. Because I knew this. His speed could be anywhere from 112 to 240. Our speed is... Incredible right now. I expect us to... One out speed. And just take this out. There we go. Okay, we got... Uh, Galarian Weezing out of this equation. I expect Zoroark. Okay, no. Okay. Um, If he's gonna Mega... What is going to take the best hit from this? Kotara. It's got an amazing defense. Okay, the Stealth Rock will come in. We'll get hit. We'll gain health. And I can switch. But no. It already... Okay, Kotara will be 100% health. For sure. Um, so, I'm expect. I don't know what I should expect from this. This is also part fighting now. When it Megas. I didn't think about that. I love his name for this. Wife. That's kind of funny. Okay, what are you going to do? Substitute. Oh... Nice. I'm gonna poison him. Bang. Get poisoned. Bang. That was the best play I could have made. Um. We could take a power punch. We resist. I just want to get the substitute out. Come on. Get that substitute out. And we're gaining health so quick. Okay. He could send in. I don't, I don't think he's going to sw send or switch out his Mega. Not yet, at least. If I get to take care of this Mega Lopini, I, I think I'm in the clear. Um, Delphox, it's easy to take out with Toxapex. Uh, I've, I haven't even put out my Mega yet. But I don't want to get too... I don't want to get too cocky because we've only taken out one Pokemon. It, but this, we're in a good position right now. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to try to keep my ground. We are resisting all of these hits. Okay, no, your attack is going up. That's not what I like. If I go for Baneful Bunker, that's not going to do me any good. Hmm. Let's just see. Okay, another substitute. I, you're whittling yourself down, so I'm not mad about that. You're at 2%. This Megalopony's done. Oh, return. Yep, return did a lot. That was smart strategy, but you're dead. Black Sludge is going to give us some... Um, I, I fully expect Seismitoad or Zoroark. Maybe Latios? Maybe? But I don't see Delphox coming out against this thing. Um, Latios. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to switch out anyway. Um, that was my plan. I say we go into Sora. And just... One, set off a Toxic... Oh, we did so good there. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set up a Toxic here. 
I was thinking Thunder Wave, but Toxic, I mean, it does damage more. All I gotta do is hit. Oh, size. Bang. This Seismitoad is now Toxic. Alright. I'm gonna set up Spikes here, too. That's what I wanna do. I don't even care that Sora almost died there. That Spikes getting set up. I'm gonna set up another round. I'm gonna sacrifice off Sora here. I'm okay with that. Now we're gonna go into Venusaur. And should I grow it? Oh, okay, no, you have Earthquake. I'm probably faster because I'm up in speed. I mean, one Giga Drain and you're dead. Truthfully, let's let's just be complete, completely honest. Anything else he sends out is going to at least take some damage from this. The Delphox will obviously take the, the least because it resists. Um, also, the Latios might not, or it might take it pretty well too. Um, but let's see. We, we're down one Pokemon, and that is okay. Um, I fully was wanting to sacrifice off. Okay, Delphox, I was kind of... Freya, that's that's I've heard of that po <laughs> that po wow I'm stupid. Um let's see. What could I do in this situation? I don't want to do anything here. Um I don't want to set up the sun yet because Oh Shadow Ball. What are you gonna do? Send out a fire move? I'll resist this. Hit me with a fire blast. Yaha. Basically anything he sends out here will get hurt to a shadow ball. I'm happy with this. Seismic Toad, this is going to get hurt by the Shadow Ball. This is going to hurt it. Bang. Send up the Zoroark. Um, I'll switch this out, but I mean, go ahead. He's down three. We're down one. I'm going to keep level-headed here. I'm going to be honest. I'm doing a lot better than I expected. Also, if the mic sounds like crap, I'm sorry. I'm still figuring out the settings for it being this close to my face. Because honestly, this is okay. The new mic, I've, ex I've recorded like three videos already, but none of them are posted. I had to mess, I messed up three times. And I explained this piece that's on it. That's what I needed. Okay, he's doing damage calcs right now. I could, I could do it, but I'm not going to set the timer. I probably should have, but neither of us did. So this little piece is what was preventing me from putting it on my boom arm. And it finally came in. So now I can record it and do close to my face. So we're going to have the best audio quality that I possibly can now. I might put a compressor on this but i doubt it i think i'm just gonna leave it as the raw audio okay freya we're faster than you there's no doubt dragapult isn't oh foul play night nice play hmm katara we're not faster but baneful bunker all right i i Hmm. Why don't I have rapid? I do have rapid spin. Why didn't I not do that yet? I'm down two Pokemon. I need to play this safe. Yep. Okay. You could have levitate. I need to be thinking about that. I'm gonna put on the timer. Um. Start timer. I just want to set this up because I needed to get a little bit of health back. I know that he has Psychic, so it's... Hmm. Now's the time. Now's the time for Charizard. Ooh, we did a... We took a lot of... That's... That messed me up. I don't know if I'm going to win this now. For a team, so much as a surf. Ooh, that's not good for me. Oh, uh, yep. I, I think the Sladios is going to beat us here. I'm going to be completely honest. If he goes for another surf. Giga Drain. Yep, I I knew um not to be cocky, and I, I don't ever think I at this any point in this battle I was. This has been a very very good battle. I'm very happy with the way I've played, and I'm very he's doing great so far. Um, that Latios was something I just wasn't expecting. Uh, I'm gonna be completely honest. If I would have kept Dragapult alive, I think we would have been good. Needed a little bit of health back. This Psychic is gonna hurt us, and it's gonna kill us. 
let's be completely honest right now. Kotara is our best strategy. Obviously, he's going to go for the Psychic. We are not specially defensive. Oh, I, actually, we are. So, uh, Okay, you did nothing. That did nothing. I just needed that regenerator. At least this last time. Um, so, yeah, we, we lost here. There, I don't see a way that we're going to get rid of... Baneful Bunker, I could protect this turn and gain a little bit of health back from the Black Sludge. But I'm just at this point, I'm just delaying the inevitable. Yep. Okay, so congratulations to Mage Gly. Um, obviously, there's things that I could have done better. Let me just real quick tell him. GG. Um, there's things, obviously, I could have done better in that battle. But this is my first competitive battle in a long time. Uh, I think if I would have kept the Dragapult alive, honestly, if I would have kept Kef Kef kept Klefki alive, I would have done better. It's just the little mistakes that I, I was like, okay, if I sacrifice it here, but that could have came back and I could have played rough. Um, it was great. Um, just some small things. If I would have kept it alive, that, that play rough probably could have hurt that thing really good, especially because it's obviously um the zora if okay let's just be honest if i would have taken out the latios and i still had charizard toxapex and uh, excadrill and venusaur left i would have won that battle in my in my, i think personally if i would have had excadrill for that delphox earthquake or rock two if i would have had um azorark i could have got taken out by a focus blast from my charizard but the thing that he one shot that charizard took it out so quickly that lopunny um i think that i did a great job against the lopunny um but again, next week, we are going to come back. We're going to do the best we can. And if we don't win a single battle this season, I'm still going to be proud of this first battle because it was a, this is a learning experience. Um, but I do want to thank um, you all for watching this first draft week video. Um, there's there's going to be Dream Peace merch probably in a couple days if it's not out already. If it's, if it's out already, it'll be in the beginning of the video. Uh, but I'll see you guys next time.